Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I just got back from a, a toasty run walk at the track and figured today was the day. Normally it would have been a long time ago, but we've had such a mild and very wet uh, spring and summer here in Georgia. Uh, that at least in the metro area, I think South Georgia, maybe they haven't had as much rain as we have, but um, we've had so much cooler weather from, I guess, overcast days and such um, that I haven't had to break this out. Plus, I couldn't break it out if it was raining, but it is hot. It is humid. It's like crazy humid, Georgia humid, um, which is good, good for a workout. Um, but my girls, they get hot in there, and... Um, a lot of people have said that they give their chickens ice baths and stuff like that. My girls don't like water. They like to drink water, but they don't like to be in water. And, um, so that didn't really work so much for them. So I'm giving them, you know, fresh water. They have water in the coop, out of the coop. I change it twice a day when it's like this, but this is what I found they liked last year. They like to get up on their roost in the run, and they loved this. This is actually a step up one, um, because I gave my old chicken box fan when my son moved out. Um, so, uh, he paints, and he had a sun porch, and I gave it to him. So, this one was a, an old one that I had, and it actually sits up higher, so, I think they're gonna like that. So if you have chickens, and I actually have breeds that do well in the heat, um, just remember them when it's hot. If you have animals, dogs, cats, whatever, make sure you're leaving them water if they're gonna be outside for a period of time. Um, because, you know, with all the heat out west, a lot of uh, farmers and just people are losing their, their animals, their pets. Um, and a lot of them are losing crops um, due to the heat. So just be mindful of that. And if you want happy chickens, give them a fan. See you next time.